Robert J. DeVoe was born in Castries, St. Lucia in 1934. He was a patriot who truly loved his fair Helen. Robert was a conservationist, a historian and environmentalist who worked assiduously to preserve St. Lucia's heritage. One wonders if it's a coincidence that his passing was on April 16th, two days prior to the observance of World Heritage Day. He was one of the founding fathers of the St. Lucia National Trust and its first director from 1977 to 1994 and a resident researcher from 1994 to 1996. After leaving the employ of the Trust, he continued to support the organization's work as an active member, resource person, volunteer and consultant. Through the memories of his wife Pam, their four children and nine grandchildren, one gets a better understanding of his passion for life, heritage conservation and his family. According to one of his children, he was a kind, wise and fun dad and although they may have not afforded all the luxuries of travel and expensive toys, they had a childhood filled with fun and adventure. Robert would take his children camping at Maria Islands and even included them in his efforts to rescue the endangered species whenever there were fires on the islands as far back as 1978. Other escapades included Easter vacations at Rat Island, surfing at Pigeon Island and playing volleyball in the garden with a volleyball net he made from scratch. In 1993, Robert received a Paul Harris Fellowship Award. He was an officer of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire, OBE, in 1991. Additionally, he was inducted into the Tourism Hall of Fame in 1996, and in 1998, he copped the MNC Fine Arts Award for Literature. Despite his plethora of awards and public work, Robert was a private individual whose two favorite pastimes were conducting research and building trails. Green can be seen throughout nature and is reflected in the many shades of our majestic mountains or expansive forests and towering trees. It is no surprise that Robert's favorite color was indeed green. He was an avid researcher and writer whose works have helped many to grasp a better idea of the rich history of St. Lucia. Robert has penned close to 30 publications including St. Lucia Historic Sites 1975, A Century of Calling in St. Lucia 1975, Bird Watcher's Guide to Pigeon Island 1996, They Called Us Brigands, The Saga of St. Lucia's Freedom Fighters 1997, and he also co-authored A History of St. Lucia in 2012 with Guy Ellis and Jolene Harmson. These and many of Robert's works are available at the St. Lucia National Trust's Documentation Center at the Pigeon Island National Landmark. Robert was a visionary who hoped that policymakers would share his dream that conservation and heritage preservation can be placed on par with development. He was a realist who never tried to prevent development. Instead, he preached sustainable development. Despite his efforts, he lost a few battles aimed at developing St. Lucia in a more sustainable manner. Nonetheless, his unrelenting zeal led to the creation of the Pigeon Island National Landmark as a rich historical and natural site with an ambience that serves as the ideal haven for relaxation, entertainment, research and exploration for both locals and visitors. Additionally, his drive to encourage preservation of records led him to establish the St. Lucia National Archives, one of his proudest accomplishments. Robert was concerned about how much had already been lost, but according to his family, his passion for conservation of the island's natural and cultural patrimony was worth the fight. As such, he encouraged everyone to safeguard what little is left of our beaches, rainforests, wildlife and historic sites. Now, 
it is our responsibility to carry on his legacy for the benefit of present and future generations of St. Lucia. Find some peace.